What's up, guys and gals of the PokeTube community? PokeCast9 here again. Um, got a few things today. Um, got my nice tails in the background that I pulled in the last video. What's propping it up? Uh, I wanted to show this off um, just as something that I thought was cool. I found this in um, storage. A couple days ago, this is my this is my great grandfather's canteen that he used in World War II. As you can see, it says 1945 on it, U.S. Um, it's really beat up, but I thought it was really neat that I found this. Um, been looking up on eBay how much these go for, and they go for about 50 bucks right now. So pretty happy. Uh, this will never be sold. It's got too much sentimental value. Um, that but it's been locked up in storage for about five years now but um yeah I just found that the other day and I thought that I would show it to y'all um moving on to uh, the stuff that y'all would like to see um picked up another theme deck today uh Glaceon the uh Frostray theme deck um just gonna keep this one sealed uh that will cut out one of the two that I need for Plasma Freeze so we'll put that to the side. Uh, next on the agenda, uh, got a package today. Ordered one of these bad boys, Dragon Frontiers, and as you can see, I've already opened it. I uh, I had to do it, guys. I was so excited. Um, as y'all know or should know, this is the epic pack that holds the Gold Star Charizard. That's what I'm after right now. Single card that I'm after is a Gold Star Charizard. I really want one. I see the prices that they go for on eBay is ridiculous. There's a four thousand dollar first edition Japanese one on eBay right now, four grand for a card. Absolutely ridiculous. So we'll go through the cards in this pack. I actually pulled a, a decent card in this one. Um, we got Volpex, Chikorita, Natu. Puppetar, Cyndaquil, got a holographic lick, lick it tongue. I like I like how all these all the e, the EX packs have the um, the name on the picture and Dragonite EX epic pull I think. Um, I guess these EX cards aren't that good, I guess, but this thing is like 10 bucks on eBay. I, I paid I paid $10 for the pack, so bought a, I bought this card and got another holo out of it. I'm very happy. We have a Scramble Energy and Shelgun. So all in all, I think that was a very, very good pack. Um, I don't understand, I don't understand behind everything behind why they changed it from 11 to 9 to 10 like I wish they just keep it the same but these have nine cards in it so I'm guessing that you get a holo and then you get a special rare or something like that maybe it maybe not might not happen like that all the time but also I picked up um, a dragon vault pack the Haxorus ones I don't have any of these so I thought I'd buy one and open it and also a call of legends pack which we'll get into right now um, Call of Legends, like I've said before, I don't know if I've said it on these videos, um, but Call of Legends is my favorite, favorite, com like, just overall set, Call of Legends takes it for me, uh, I love Call of Legends, it's, I don't know why either, uh, there's not really... Any cards in it that particularly catch my eye, except uh, the shiny ones. Uh oh, we got a little bit card here, but that's okay. It'll be all right. Okay, so we got a um, got a Eevee, Relicanth, Mistrevious, Fanfy, Pidgey. Oh. That's cool. I like the Celebi right there. That's really cool. We got a reverse energy and 
Cleffa is my rare. Um, I like the the pokey body. That's pretty cool. But you know, not many times that it could be probably be put to sleep that often, but still for a rare 30 HP is terrible. I always wondered why that was a rare card. Professor Oak's new theory, interviewers questions. I know that's a good card in the um um the TCG whenever you play it, I guess. I've seen that that's a good card and a cool lava. Um that and catcher, I think. Uh, I have I know nothing about the TCG guys, so um y'all know about as much as I do, I guess. Um I guess some of y'all out there play it. Um I've never I've never got into it. I wanted to, but I never I never did. I don't know why I didn't. Um there just there was never really anything that caught my eye with it. Uh, I just I just liked the way the cards looked. And that's what I wanted to do. I just wanted to collect the cards. So we're gonna get into the <clears throat> Oh, these are bent. I don't like that. That one's not. Yeah, these things have been sitting at Walmart for probably quite a while. But that'll be okay. I'm not really into, I don't really want to complete this set or anything, I'm just, I just thought I'd open it because I haven't, I haven't ever opened one before, so, there's this code card, and I will not give it out, I want to do something with them, there's the, um, Haxorus holographic with the Dragon Vault right there, nice card, um, nice, nice attack. Big cost, but nice attack. Um, okay, so if for anybody that doesn't know, these are only f it's a twenty card set, I believe twenty five maybe, and it's all dragons, of course, Dragon Ball, and you only get five cards in each pack. Um, so we'll start with this one, and we will attempt to. Oh, those are super easy to get into. Yeah, these are these are bent, and I think they're all holographic as well, just like the shiny collection, maybe. Um, so there's Axu. Yeah, they're all holographic. There's Hexorus again. Super Rod. Ooh, that's a cool Dratini. I like that. Um, and. Oh, Latios. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. I wish these weren't freaking bent, but I can bend them back. It'll be okay. Nice pack, nice pack. I like how all of them are holographic. That's really neat. Oh, come on. Ah! Messed that one up. But... It'll be okay. So we got Bagon, XP share, first ticket, Dragonair, and Fracture. So in this two packs that I've opened, I've already completed the entire Haxorus um, evolution chain without without using the promo card. That's pretty good. I've had some pretty good luck today with, with pack openings, except for that Call of Legends. <laughs> pull it in. Pull a Cleffa as a rare. Terrible. But, sometimes you get good ones, sometimes you don't. Ooh. Sweet. Salamance. Requaza. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Dragonair. 
shell gun. That's a cool shell gun too. Holy crap, these cars are awesome. I might actually invest in some more of these. And bagging. So, overall, that was not a bad buy. $10, $11, and I got at least half the cards. Um, only a couple, only a couple duplicates. Um, yeah. Actually, I don't, I, I think Bagun was my only duplicate. It was. No, and Dragonair. Bagun and Dragonair was my only duplicate, so. Out of 15 cards, I only got, I got 13 different ones, so that's, that's really good. I'm closer to completing the set now. <laughs> But, um, hope y'all liked the video. Um, booster box opening will be coming soon. Don't know which one I'm going to get yet. I might just go, I might just go with the black and white because I have nothing from the actual black and white set. Or I might go with the plasma freeze and get some more EX cards. Um, I bought a few EX cards. They're coming in pretty soon. Um, so from Plasma Storm, and I bought a couple from Boundaries Crossed. So uh, check in for those videos coming up soon, and the booster box opening coming soon. Um, hope y'all like the video, and comment, subscribe, like, share, do everything you can to get me some more subscribers, guys. I need some more subscribers, so um, help me out with that, and for you know. Once we hit 10 to 15 subscribers, I'll do a code card giveaway. So tell your friends, everybody that you know does that likes Pokemon. If you like my channel, let them know that you know I'm new, so I need some more subscribers. But um, hope hope y'all enjoyed the video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.